Here are the two Toy Biz Kingpins that we got from the Face Off series back in 2006. Both of them are from a 2-pack with Daredevil. The black one is with the unmasked Daredevil. Both of them comes with their cane which really looks like a stylus. The black cane has this red color thingy at the top. I'm not really sure what kind of shape it is supposed to be but yeah, there it is. Really reminds me of a stylus to write on a tablet. And the kingpin figures can only hold the cane on the right hand. The left hand can't be used to hold the cone. Unless this is what you want. <laughs> Both the figures have the same body mold except for a different head sculpt. Both the head sculpts are quite okay. This one has kind of a more relaxed and stern face. And the black suit variant looks furious. The lips on this one are also darker in color. The thing about this head sculpt is that I feel like it looks like kind of out of a live action show or movie instead of out of the comics. Looks kind of realistic. You can see the difference in the color of the collar. Blue over here and purple on the black variant. And purple on this one with red on the black variant. The black variant also has these buttons in gold unlike the white suit variant. In his early appearance, he actually wears a white suit with a purple pinstrip pants. And as for the black suit, I'm really not sure when he appeared wearing black suit in the comics on Earth 616, but he did wear a black suit in the Ultimate Spider-Man series. Here's a side view of the figure. Kingpin is supposed to be one huge person with a lot of muscle mass, but for this figure, he just really looks kind of fat, like he ate too much cheeseburgers or pizzas or he drinks a lot or something. I mean, look at that. He is supposed to be one big mass of muscle, but yeah, this one looks kind of overweight instead. The back of the Toy Biz figure has this hole to accommodate to the stand that the figure comes with. The hole is kind of unsightly. <laughs> Both of them have the same articulation. The head can only turn left and right. Can't really look up or down. That's about it. Hands go up this much. Bicep swivel. Single hinge elbow joint and wrist hinge joint. No swivel on the wrist. And of course, we have the articulated finger. I really don't like this articulated, like, I don't know. Who does this movement? <laughs> the fingers on the other hand is a bit more open so that he can grab hold of the cane. No ab crunch on the tummy, but it does have a waist swivel. The legs can move sideways this much. Can't really move much to the front. Thigh swivel. Double hinge knee joint. An ankle hinge up and down. And also rotate left and right. And of course, the toe hinge joint. So articulation is not really that great. And yeah, the gap between the thigh is kind of big as well. Now here are the two versions of Kingpin done by Hasbro. This one is from the BAF wave back in 2019. And the other one is from the Spider-Man Retro Wave back in 2020. The two figures are almost exactly the same except for a slight retool at the collar. Here you have the tie and the black collar. While on the Retro series, you have this kind of blue scarf thingy around the neck. Both of them comes with a cane. The BAF version is black while the Retro version is brown. And the top is a crystal attached to it. So yeah, this one definitely looks good compared to the Toy Biz version. <laughs> they also come with an angry looking head, but the retro version has some bruises and scratches on his face. Another difference is that the eyebrows are different in color. The BF version has it in grey, but the retro version has the eyebrows in black. The BAF version follows his modern appearance where he wears a suit which is all white whereas for the retro kingpin, his look is based on his early appearance with the white coat, purple pants and the orange inner shirt and the blue scarf. Even though it's on the animated series retro cutback, it's not really animated series accurate because in the animated series, his pants are grey, his inner shirt is black and the scarf is purple. And to top it off, the suit is also buttoned up Unlike this figure, which has the buttons off. The scalp of the shoes are decent. And from the side view, this time round, he looks more like a big and muscular person instead of being fat. So this is definitely a better body mold. For articulation, 
the figure can look left and right and also up and not much downwards hence able to go up sideways this much it can only rotate around there's no bicep swivel but the elbows has hinge joint and can rotate wrist swivel and hinge joint the figure doesn't have a waist swivel but it does have a mid torso joint which allows it to rotate although the buttons will not be aligned the mid torso joint doesn't really allow front and back movement just a rotation of left and right legs able to move sideways this much and front this much thigh swivel single hinge knee joint but it can also rotate the figure does have ankle hinge and pivot but the pants kind of restrict the movement of the feet which causes it to be able to rotate only this much and move up and down this much articulation is kind of decent but i guess it could have been better and here's how both figures look like without the suit the arms can simply just be pulled off if you want to remove this part of the suit for both of the retro wave and the baf figure here are all the four kingpin figures together and i definitely prefer the hasbro version is bigger in size but at the same time he doesn't look unhealthily overweight both of these head sculpts looks good the hasbro version does look really similar to the toy Biz version the main difference is the gap between the top and bottom teeth and they really shouldn't have done the eyebrows grey makes kingpin looks kind of old and between these two i definitely prefer hasbro's version like i said earlier the toy Biz version looks kind of too realistic to be a comic character looks more like out of a live action show i guess they could have painted the lips of the hasbro head he looks kind of pale and sickly without the painted lips looking at these figures together the toy Biz version looks kind of short and pudgy compared to the hasbro version toy Biz did button up the suit so like it looks more like the animated series and also sometimes in the comic he does have the suit button up so i guess it's really down to your preference which of these appearances you prefer and actually this one is kind of the most animated series accurate with the gray pants and the purple scarf although in that animated series he doesn't have the collar and for the hands the pins of the hinge joints is really a sore to the eye having them exposed like this that's why i prefer alternate hands to articulated fingers here are the rings on the pinky finger the toy Biz ring has some sort of black marking on the ring but for the hasbro version both of them are just ruby or red in color here's how the figure sizes up with spidey the height of the retro wave spidey is up to the shoulder of the toy Biz kingpin but i definitely prefer how he sizes up with the hasbro kingpin because in recent years kingpin has always been drawn as quite bigger in size compared to a normal human height although in his earlier appearances in the comics he does look kind of big and white but not really that tall like how this toy Biz kingpin is and just for size reference here's how he sizes up to the hasbro hulk so between these four kingpin figures which one is your favorite for me it's definitely the retro wave kingpin although it's not really animated series accurate i feel that it can still pass off as animated series and also comic version of kingpin thanks for watching do check out my review and comparison of the retro wave symbiote spider-man and check out my comparison between original and bootleg marvel legends as well at my channel